Hi everybody, today I'm reviewing a smaller um, holiday type kit. It's from Smashbox and it's called On The Rocks. This is kind of the label of their entire holiday collection. But this particular item is the Be Legendary Lipstick Trio. And this was $19 and it contains three really small size lipsticks. I don't know what I was expecting to get here. I mean, I kind of knew at 19 bucks I probably wasn't gonna get full size. My honest first reaction when I opened this up was, wow, those lipsticks are really small. You're not getting a lot of product here, so I just want to put that out there to start. And the three shades that you're getting in here are part of the regular line. I do like the fact that the color selection is really varied here. You're getting three totally different shades. The first one is Primrose, and this is a really classic pink. It strikes me as the kind of shade a lot of people probably have in their collection. You know, it's that pink that's not too cool or too bubblegummy, you know, but it's a very... I think mature looking pink. I think it's really pretty. These are all a cream formula. They go on and leave a lot of shine on the lips, I think, for a lipstick. Then you're getting Legendary, which is a really classic red shade. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I'm kind of getting into the red lip thing quite a bit these days. I think it's very appropriate to have a shade like this in a holiday collection. Um, really can't complain about it, other than the fact that, you know, a red lip with some shine is something that I think you have to be a little more careful with when you're wearing it. Kind of keep a closer eye on it than you would if it were a totally matte red lip. The final shade is a really deep vampy berry color called Fig. Definitely on trend with the dark fall lips that everyone's after, um, but as with the others, it gives a lot of shine. That shine, I think, offers some dimension to the look. You know, it's catching the light, uh, maybe right there in the center of your lip. Something I noticed with the application of all of these is that they kind of pull across the lips. They don't glide on in a really velvety smooth way. Um, I'm thinking about my bite lipsticks, so kind of a comparable high-end lip color, and those are so full color just like these are, but they glide on, granted not with as much shine, but they just go on so super smoothly and with very little effort. And I wouldn't say there's more moisture in products like these or that they're more hydrating, but but just the way the formula is, it's got a little bit of thickness and as far as lipsticks go, a slight stickiness. Um, I don't have a lot of lipsticks that I put on and I think, hmm, that feels almost a little bit sticky. Like, let's say these were put on my lips and I was unconscious during the application and then I looked at myself in the mirror and felt this. You know, I might think, is that a gloss on my lips or is that a lipstick? Just because it's got that little bit of tackiness that I don't normally associate with a lipstick. I don't know, if you've tried these, maybe you know what I mean. It's just, there, there's a little different texture to them. Staying power with these uh, is really good, especially with the two bolder shades. They wear like a lot of lipsticks I have. So if I'm looking at my lips late in the day, uh, the shine's gonna have worn off and they start to wear kind of, you know, in that inner part of the lip. Again, I think the colors are so saturated I don't notice them like completely wearing off color wise. So I think the positive points about this kit are a great color selection. I love the three totally different shades. I really like the appearance on the lips. I think the staying power is good. A few things that might be a little questionable I think for this kit is that the size is really small. I mean $19 is not a lot for a kit, but they are just really a mini size lipstick. If you're one who likes a good cream formula lipstick that is gonna leave a lot of shine on your lips, I think you'll enjoy these. For me, I think these lipsticks are kind of something I'd say I like, but I don't love. Um, going on, I feel like the formula is not maybe as luxurious feeling as I would have hoped. Something about the way it kind of pulls across the lips a little bit. I don't know, I just don't love it as as much as some of my bite lipsticks. I've recently been trying some of the NARS Audacious lipsticks and I don't really feel like these are on that level. I think strictly from a color perspective it's hard to deny. I mean these are beautiful shades. I think it just really gets into the nitty-gritty of what you like in the feel of a lipstick formula. So I hope this review was useful to you. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I will see you in the next review. Bye!